Good morning. Hello. Good day. My name is Olivia Wami, and today I would like to take us on a journey, a journey of resource planning in project management. Having a plan for your entire project doesn't mean you should only have listed the tax it takes to deliver it. Today, we're going to be talking or looking at a couple of things which I will mention shortly. Planning your project also includes knowing what resources you're going to need and when. The kickoff phase, including creating a project scope and defining deliverables and dependencies, allows you to better estimate the time and budget for current and future projects. What we're going to be looking at in today's episode is the ingredients of effective resource planning processes, the role of resource planning tools, how to avoid resource planning or resource allocation challenges, and the meaning of resource planning in project management. Not in that order, um, so please keep that in mind. Resource planning is no different helping project managers to align project deliverables with available resources. Without it, you can't control the project's delivery, its timeline and the budget. So I will walk you through the process of resource planning so you can find and assign only the right and available resources for your projects. So first, what is resource planning? According to Project Management Institute, resource planning is determining what resources, people, equipment, materials, whatsoever, but all of this are what we call resources and what quantities of each should be used to perform project activities. Now, I, I know that um, sometimes the word resources is a bit confusing, but we're going to be looking at this um, per the resources. So we're going to we look, we're looking at the people, the equipment, the materials, and all of this are going to be mentioned as it is. We're not going to just generalize the term for better understanding of what we're looking at today. So for more creative and service-based complaints, the resources are people. So resource planning is a method for determining which team members you will need for your project and when they'll be needed. So let's look at the prerequisites to managing resources. So we're looking at three prerequisites today. The first is called the work breakdown structure, which is a deliverable orientated, orientated structure of your project scope. This is the first prerequisite. So we need to have that in mind whenever you are um, in the verge of managing resources. It makes it easier to visualize the project in manageable pieces so you can figure out what sorts of themes you will need right away. Next, you will need an estimate of project duration and tax so that you can plan resources for the project. So the next thing here is the estimate of the project or project duration. The critical part method, which explains project structure, but also contains project activities, dependencies, milestones, and length, is one of the resource scheduling approaches to utilize. The overall estimated time for the project can be calculated using the critical part method. After explaining this, I'm going to show us a sample of what um, what I'm talking about really looks like. And then we also have um, the final prerequisites that you know 
is the scope, right? Um, not the scope per se, but at this point, you already know the scope of your project. Now, what you need to do next is to, um, to find employees with skills that match the jobs they will be doing. It's critical to ensure that each staffs are available for the duration of each tax, um, each tax expected duration. So this is a sample of what's, you know, an internal hourly rate report um, of, of the project resources. This actually gives us a breakdown of what we um, what is actually focused on when you're talking about research planning. You can see um, team members and projects you're assigned to, and then it also helps you comp um, with comparison, bookings, um, timesheets, and of course the project cost. All right, so next we're going to be looking at the techniques to managing resource. But before we focus into that, let's keep in mind that in order to better explain how to manage resources at your organization, or um, you need to put in the forefront the prerequisites, the techniques to plan resources for the project, and project planning tools that will make it way easier for you. So talking about the techniques to managing resources, the first three, your professional experiences influences your expert judgment. So for expert judgment, expert judgment as you do useful or you, you, as you do useful insights from you get useful insight from senior colleagues or consultants engaged by your company. It may seem obvious that yes, there is like, and you can actually get like a judgment on your own, but it is critical to the success of your project. That is why it's advisable that when you're working in a team, you um, you have senior colleagues, you need to also, it's advisable to run whatever you need to do by them, run your plans by them because they have more years um, of professional experience. They will have um, inputs to give to you concerning this so that you would not make mistakes that has already been made in the past. The second way you can use to plan resources is the bottom-up estimation, which is simply a notion focused on enlisting people who will be working on the project in estimating it. This method involves your team estimating the tax based on their expertise and experience, which results in a more thorough project plan, but it takes longer. Now, I would say for sure that the bottom of estimation has been used um, over the years. So in most projects, this is actually being used. Why? Because you want to get the estimate of uh, the time estimated for that particular project. But when doing this, you also have to take into consideration the expertise and experience of your team. Now, due to the fact that projects can vary over time, you must consider several possibilities. As changes arise, you'll be able to come up with solutions to use. You can use one of two methods. You can use the pattern thinking or the literal thinking. Pattern thinking, and it just explains pattern recognition, which is beneficial for refining or improving based on previous experiences, while the literal thinking um, necessitates innovative product um, problem solving and the use of ideas that may not be clear at first. Now let's look at the tools to managing resources. A resource planning tool is equivalent to having a fantastic schedule that aims or, or that aids in optimization. It's possible with project resources such as. So what do you look at when it comes to the tools to managing resources? 
First, determine the resources and personnel required for a project. Estimate the resources you need for each day, week, and month of the project and schedule them accordingly. You make a precise schedule for project timeline and resources, maintain your budget, all of your team's prizes are automatically in computed when you assign their time and then keep track of when team members are available and when they are on vacation. You need to keep in mind that using resource planning software is significantly more convenient that it offers you fast access to all of the information you've gathered such as a list of your employees, their availability, existing bookings, and already filled timesheets. So, in a lot of times, you you get stuck. You get um you get to you know observe some form of conflict or issues when you're managing resources. But we're going to look at resolving project planning conflicts. When one employee is considered for many projects at the same time, planning conflicts might arise. This problem may be avoided, but it will necessitate a greater understanding of your employee's availability and the company's project pipeline. When problems arise, communicate with a team who has made plans for the same resources and tried to reach an agreement. By comparing the key routes of both projects, for example, you can both find a way to prepare for the same employee. This manner, you can see if any job flows allow you to move some work around. Then in light of this modification, we your project plan. Now, let me give you an example of using resource planning software. Let's imagine you've just landed a new client and they need to build, um, you need to build them a website. Right? Your company has made similar sites before, so you know that you will need development and design resources to execute the job. Now, before I continue, before I continue, let's just put in mind, let's like, I need you to, I need you to visualize while I'm trying to explain this with you. So you have a client that needs a new website and in the past, that sort of website has been done before. Let's say an e-commerce website, a fintech so, um, website, a security-based website or something in that um, you know, area. You also know that it should take your developer roughly 20 hours and your designer 10 hours to complete their respective tasks. Using a resource planning tool, you can create the project and effectively forecast what you need in terms of resources and in this case i'm referring to people next you need to assign the tax to your team you can search your resource availability and select team members based on their job titles and skills in this case we're referring to the developer and designer now you now now that we have selected the team members you need to complete the you need we need to complete the project and know the required hours all that is left is adding this tax to each respective team members in your resource schedule. Create an assigned project tax to resources in second with a resource planning software. Now, you also have to keep in mind of, you know, avoiding conflicts. Now, to avoid planning conflicts in the first place, remember to check to see if the resources you're planning on using are actually available. You need to consult with other PMs at your organization if they don't need the same resources during your project duration. And, and during the project 
manage your team's workload and the company's pipeline to ensure that your strategy suits current bookings and project development. Now let's take, uh, this is a sample of how you can, you know, know your, your team's, um, your team's availability in a nutshell, right? Now, you have, so at this time, tax has been scheduled, yeah? Now, keeping your team in the loop is instrumental to your project success and is an important feature of resource planning software. Now, in a resource in in a resource planning software called um, Flout, once a team member has been assigned a project, they will be notified by email, push notification, or Slack, and can get to work on completing their tasks. You can keep tabs on their progress on on your end and make sure they are hitting their minds their milestones. So that's just how. Just, just, just how smooth and fun it is to use uh, a resource planning software. So resource planning and cost management, which is going to be the last thing we're going to be looking at today. Not only will knowing how to probably, probably um, plan your resources make it easier for you to discover and assign the finest resources to the project, it will also assist you in budgeting. Resource planning along with cost estimating, budgeting, and control is an aspect of project cost management, according to the PM book. Now, how? Remember that the profitability of a project is determined by this simple equation on my screen, uh, the project budget minus the hour spent times the hourly, the hourly rate of your employees. You need to keep in mind that keeping track of your resources and deploying them in accordance with the project plan will not only improve the delivery of your projects, but also provide a profit margin for your business. Now, at this point, I'm very sure that you can really and confidently say you can teach the inefficient whiteboard, just take it out. You don't you don't need that anymore and start delivering all your projects on time and within budget. Now, once again, I would say that you need to find the right resource planning software to use for your project. There are a lot of them out there, a lot with cool features, um, awesome features, not so great features. But the good thing about this is you're going to find the one that suits your need. What could be better than that? There's absolutely nothing when you know you're going to, you know, you're going to get your project delivered on time and within budget. Once again, my name is Olivia Wami, and I'll be talking in depthly on this tomorrow, 6th of May, 2022, live on Bincom Dev Center's um, YouTube channel. So if you don't have access to that, you've never heard of Bincom Dev Center, you can just go down to YouTube, type in Bincom Dev Center and subscribe so you can get notified when um, I start talking about this again tomorrow morning 9 a.m west african time you can also follow me on youtube olivia wami to get more of my videos and also on you can also follow me on facebook olivia wami thank you so much for joining today have a splendor day and i hope this resource planning guide helps you as much as it had helped me.